Hey everybody, it's Faith from Firesign Tarot. Hope everybody's well. Okay, Gemini, it is time for your November round two. I'm a little behind on readings. I apologize. I had to take a couple of days to recharge there. But we're getting them done. We're getting them out. So, if it resonates with your sun sign, Gemini, cool. If not, check your moon rising or Venus sign readings. Is your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given by the cards if you choose to do anything at all? It's your journey, not mine. Just throw unknown cards. Keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa. If there's a cross watcher hanging out, it it might play out from your perspective, but this is going to go more into Gemini's strengths and weaknesses in the situation. What's got to go, what's coming in, what they want, what they need to do to achieve a desired outcome, or what they need not do. To not achieve an undesired outcome. Know what I'm saying? So, but you know, if you can take some of that, it's fine. You're more than welcome to hang out. Anybody new? Welcome. If you think we're going to vibe, I think you might want to come hang out some more. You can hit the subscribe button, the notification bell. Anyone who's returning, welcome back. Thanks for coming back by. Anybody can hit the like button at any time. It all helps the channel. It all helps the videos and message to be circulated for those who may need them. So, it's just about ready. It's waking up. It's waking up. I'm thinking, oh, it split up the Seven of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. Well, huh. Could be having to exercise patience in a love situation. Okay. All right, friends. Let's invoke. Throw them down. Oh, two quick things. Never make a life-altering decision based on a tarot reading. I don't care if they're my cards or somebody else's. And two, if it's just not your message, leave the cards on the table and walk away. Don't take it with you if it doesn't belong to you, okay? All right. Heavenly Father, Mother, Earth, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, Archangels, I ask for any messages you have for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for November Round 2. Thanks for coming down and hanging out with me today. I appreciate you. I'm grateful and thankful for this gift that I've been given, and I ask that you help me use it to bring Gemini to their highest possible spiritual good. Put them in their highest possible spiritual path. Gemini. The Fool. Y'all get ready to jump. Jumping into something new. Starting a new path. That's pretty cool. Strength is the Queen of Wands reversed. Weakness is the Four of Wands reversed. Uh, oh. What do you want? Four of Swords. What's got to go? Sun reversed. What's coming in? Star reversed. I don't know how I feel about this, Gemini. What you gotta do? The world. What's the outcome? Knight of Wands reversed. Bottom of the deck is the Eight of Cups reversed. That's a card of revisiting something. Hmm. Okay. Okay, now all the notifications start rolling in and then they distract me. And I don't know how to shut them off in the Chromebook. Universe Source Spirit Guides, can I get clarity? Clarity from a Gemini Friends for November Round 2. What's up with this? What's up with this? Or your strength is showing up as the Queen of Wands in the reverse. I don't know why, because the Queen of Wands in the reverse has a tendency to be a little bit of a jaded bitch. So, why on earth would she be showing up as a strength? This is why we get clarity. Okay. Talk to me about this Queen of Wands reversed. Ace of Pentacles reversed, Ace of Wands reversed. You know what you don't want. Ooh. 
Why the Magician reversed? He's a he's a string puller. He's slightly manipulative. Queen of Cups reversed, Five of Cups reversed. You don't let people screw with you. You know what you don't want. You don't let people screw with your emotions. Okay. Why is the Four of Wands reversed showing up as your weakness? Why the Four of Wands reversed? Oh, this one almost hit the floor. Might be important. Karma reversed. Queen of Pentacles reversed. Strength reversed. Uh huh. That's extremely interesting. Some of you may have been left drained or lacking self-worth after a revisited situation. Something you finally had to let go of. Some of you may be having a hard time leaving the tower on the ground right now. What the fuck? Okay. All right, talk to me. What do you want? Four of Swords. Why the Four of Swords? That's the release. That's the getting over the heartbreak. Okay. Oh, goodness. Okay. Two of Pentacles reversed. Ten of Cups. You want your happiness? You want to get over a heartbreak? Why the Two of Pentacles reversed? High Priest reversed. Two of sorts. <laughs> you want something to work out. Some of you could be faced with a decision. One on this two of swords, then we're going to move to the next card. Ah! Page of Pentacles revert. <laughs> Communication and apology that's not coming in. Maybe some of you feel like you need to give someone an apology and you don't know how. Maybe you tried to and it wasn't accepted. Huh. All right, why... Why the sun reversed for what's got to go? That's a, that's a connection that didn't work out. Hermit reversed. Self-isolation. Oh my god, 
they're flying all over. The shadow side, the devil. Something you're bound to. Could be toxic behaviors. Why does this card keep coming out for Gemini's? Something that wasn't balanced, something that wasn't equal give and take, something that didn't work out, something that was potentially toxic. Why the shadow side? Some of you might be isolating. Three of Wands. The waiting. Some of you need to stop waiting. I feel like this connection didn't work out for a reason. Some of you may be obsessing over it. It wasn't equal. I think this behavior of closing yourself off. Some of you could be closing yourself off and engaging in toxic situations to as like a means to ignore. God, I hope not. One more. Eight of Swords reversed, yes, some of you. What's gotta go? Gotta separate from it. You can't be in a cage of your own thoughts about this. You gotta come out of that cage. I feel like some of you might be waiting for communication that's just not coming. Why this star reversed? Why this star reversed? Why the star reversed for what's coming in? That's lack of healing. That's lack of wish fulfillment. Why the star reverse? Seven of Pentacles. Still waiting. Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands in the upright. Could be a fire sign you're dealing with. At Aries. Queen of Wands reversed is up there. Virgo. I got Capricorn. A lot of signs on the board here. Just about everybody's on the board. Taurus. I'm not going to keep shouting out signs. It could be any sign. It's just the energy coming off the card. Talking about this Queen of Wands. What's this Queen of Wands? Finally coming out of your head out of a situation. Possibly the opportunity to heal. Uh, ten of swords upright. The opportunity to heal after a lack of healing is coming in. But you got to start investing in yourself. you got to figure out what you want. you got to know what you want and go after it. That's how the sun shines again. you got to get through the pain, you know. Well, how the hell do you do that? What what you got to do? The world. The world's about ending cycles and letting new ones begin. This is what you want to do. Th this is the mode you're in right now. This is the fool. This is the new start. This has got to happen first. Talk to me about this world card. Talk to me about this world card. The world card. What more do you need? What more do you need here, Gemini? It just told you twice in two different decks. Can you see that? What more do you need? The power to end the cycle is in you. I 
feel like some of you may not have gotten closure in a situation. Who's closure for? Who's the closure for? Why? If it ended, you have to let it end. If someone walked away, let them walk away. I feel like the outcome, if you don't put this to an end of your own power within yourself, is the Knight of Wands in the reverse. That's somebody not moving forward. Why the Knight of Wands reversed? Six of Wands. One more. Six of Cups. One more. Knight of Pentacles. The slow movement forward. Oh, this is interesting. The Five of Wands and the Chariot. That's very interesting. I see a return. But I see conflict and eventual distance with that return. There's an Eight of Cups reversed right there. That's another card of return. Whether you revisit it or they come revisit it. But it's just going to end in conflict. One in this chariot. You want to have that la one last pop off with somebody, go for it. I don't think it's necessary. But if it makes you feel better, if that's the closure you want, go for it. I'm just a crazy tarot lady. Queen of Swords, Eight of Cups, yup. <laughs> You end up cutting each other out anyway and walking away. Is that the way you want to close this out? Do you want to close this out painfully? Again? Is that what you want? It's up to you. It's up to, it's up to you, Gemini. It's up to you. King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. I think you're worth more than that, honeys. I think you're worth more than that. And I think deep down you know you're worth more than that. Okay. Let's get a Wisdom Oracle for Gemini. Treasure Island, okay. Treasure Island. There's my book. Set the damn deck right on top of it. You've worked hard and acted upon your unwavering belief in abundance 
and suddenly in the midst of it all you hit the jackpot you have uncovered the map to buried treasure and tapped the unlimited potential within you what you must hone now is your ability to recognize when X marks the spot because some of these golden opportunities may be obvious but others may not be so readily apparent trust your intuition to light your way now as you enter this truly prosperous phase where all the long hard work navigating your inner life is now paying off externally in all aspects of your life at this time you have good fortune don't forget to enjoy it and share it with others as treasure shared multiplies like magic Okay, the treasure within yourself. All right, Gemini. Have one hell of a rest of your November, and I will catch you guys in your next read. Know that you love to be blessed. Love and light, friends. See you soon.